We are here in Paradise Valley in San Diego, California. You're watching Jay Case's Top 5 Ruby Desserts. Let's go! Oh. We are here at Red Ribbon Bake Shop. It's one of the big Filipino bakeries in Mira Mesa. It's by Seafood City, which if you're Asian Filipino, you'll know what Seafood City is. And if you're living here in California, it's a normal supermarket. But we're here at Red Ribbon and we're gonna pick up a slice of Ube Overload Cake, which is number five in my top five list. So we are inside Seafood City right now. I wanna show you the difference between the yams and like purple yams, Philippine yams, and just different types of yams. So these are the purple yams. These are Japanese yams. And sweet yams. We're here in Mira Mesa in San Diego, also known as Manila Mesa because of so many Filipinos living here. This is where I grew up, this is my community. This is Jimmy Bake Shop. It's one of the most popular Filipino bakeries. My favorite ube dessert from here is the ube ensaymada, which is right here. It's only $1.50, and what I like about it is on the go, and it's just delicious. So you just pick this up, you could take this anywhere you want, like you go out for the day and just eat this while you're driving, it's perfect. But we'll check it out back at home. Back at home, trying the ube ensaymada, nice and wrapped. And what's cool about it, it's like, it's got bread with butter, sugar, cheese on top. And then on the inside, it's ube mixed with coconut. It's really good. Let's check it out. There it is, ube ensaymada. You can already see the purple right there. So you get the little, the little ube. Some of them have a lot in it. See, this one's kind of like in the bottom. Mmm, it's really good. There we go. There's a lot of the ube makapuna right there. This side, that side. This is for sure the best ube breakfast ever. We are here in Paradise Valley in San Diego, California, which has some of the best ube treats in all of San Diego, maybe all of California. Let's go inside and check it out. Snoy, 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 okay, it's snoy. I've been saying snow ice, so it's snoy. <laughs> How long have you been here for? Uh, it's coming on two, two years and two weeks. Wow. So if you guys are ever in San Diego, go to snoy. It's in Paradise Valley. They have all the best stuff, not just ube desserts, but like halo halo. Um, what else do you have? Uh, boba, shaved snow, ice cream sandwiches. For our number three ube dessert is ube ice cream macaron, right here, guys. Where did you guys get this from? It's a delicious dessert. So that's a friend that makes macaron ice cream sandwiches. He does a ube with like um, the white chocolate chips and oh, Oreos nice. in it uh -huh. and on sometimes. Look at this. It just looks delicious, guys. It matches the shirt. As you guys can tell, I prepared for this. Got the Philippine hat. Pacquiao purple. <laughs> Let's go check this out. I'm going to link it below. Let's try this out. This is the delicious ube macaron. Oh, man. That dessert, though. I just love the dab, right? Man, that's really good. Yes. Have you ever had like magnolia ube ice cream before? This is it, but in a sandwich with ube macaron. Awesome. Thanks for this, man. Appreciate it. We are in the frozen section where the ube ice cream is, and I'm gonna get my favorite ube ice cream, which is the magnolia. But there's also different types and different brands, so let's go check it out. Ube macapuno, taro, ube with red bean. Ube queso, which is ube with cheese. And these are different brands. Best of the Philippines, San Miguel Gold Label. Deep inside the bottom is the regular ube, which is what we're gonna get. We're here in North Park. I'm with my best friend Jace. We're headed to Nomad Donuts to try the uh, ube donut that they have which is number two on the list of my top five. Right behind me is Nomad Donuts. Let's go inside and try out the uh, Taro Ube Donut. I come here early because they sell out. They're actually sold out right now, but I'm gonna come back and grab it. Go inside and check it out. The last piece for my vlog. <laughs> We're back in Nomad Donuts a few days later. Got the ube taro donut. It's three bucks, so it's not bad, but I'm gonna eat it at home. I wanna put some ube ice cream in it. See you at home. All right, so we're at home. Put some ube ice cream with the 
donut. Um, the donut's got like coconut, ube, it looks like a glazed donut, but yeah, this is how we're gonna try it. So the donut itself tastes kind of blueberry-ish, um, like a glazed donut. You don't really taste the ube much, unless you eat the ice cream. It's a pretty good donut though. We are at our number one spot, Snoys. I got the Ube Oreo shake. Got it in this mini mug here. It's pretty cool, it's pretty nice and the, the presentation's awesome. Little Oreo crumbles here. What's also really cool about this place is that they actually have other Ube products from different places like the Cravery. We are trying the Taro cookie from the Cravery. I've had this many times before but it's just awesome. I love the taste of it. It's a faint purpley color, it's not brown, but it's also got like white chocolate chip in it. Mmm, the cookie's so good. Bomb. Similar to Ube, but not quite, but they actually have this. And then on the weekends, they have our number two Ube dessert, Nomad Donuts, which is the Ube Donut, which you guys already saw. Oh yeah, this is really good. Cookies and cream, Ube style, it's great. Like, one of the best I've had. It really tastes it. it's really good. I'm about halfway through with the shake and it's phenomenal. The only thing I can compare it to is the Ube shake that I got back in Eagle Rock in Oinkster Burger. That is just as good. They use real Ube ice cream on there too. Check it out. I think I have video from that. Got that Ube shake real quick though. It's that Ube life. How popular do you think Ube has become in the last oh my few gosh. years? It's been super popular. I think it's like the most trending flavor. Maybe like tied with matcha, right? Yeah, with definitely with matcha. Anthony Bourdain said Filipino food is the next big thing. We know this stuff because we're Filipino, but like foods like sisig, which we're gonna do videos on, like people are like, that's the next big thing. And I was like, I've been eating that my whole life. <laughs> I've been eating ube my whole life. Right? Just, now they're starting to infuse it in like very unique ways. And like it's really cool to see it go up. We also do uh, collabs. No bad donuts, uh, cravery cookies. Okay. We do our own ube cookies. Um, we're the top cookie shop in San Diego. Yeah, and the, the Cravery is really good. I believe the baker is half Filipino, right? Definitely when you're in San Diego, come to Paradise Valley, check out Snois. Sorry for calling it Snois. Oh, you're good. <laughs> yeah, come see them. Thanks, man. Thanks yeah. for your time. How can we follow you? At Snois SD. S N O I C E S D. So that was my top five Uber desserts. What's yours? Comment down below and let me know what your top five are. And uh, enter for a chance to win this Snois mason jar. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. And after the first 100 likes, I will choose my favorite comment and ship this to the winner. Thanks for watching my top five guys, and see you next time.